Hello everybody and welcome back. I am the 8-Bit Gent and today we are playing Sucker for Love. Will we find love? I hope so. Let's find out. Let's get into a new date. <laughs> Chapter 1. Planeta Myriela Scary Girlfriend. I probably butchered that. Planeta, my really scary girlfriend. Oh, thank you. Read it for me. And I did butcher it. Eldritch gods, cosmic horrors, things beyond our understanding, to merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. The only thing protecting all of reality from the final coalescence of insanity and terror is the fact that the unspeakable gods wait dreaming. Their awakening under aligned stars heralds the end. Today, the stars are aligned. Damn it, come on already. Same day shipping my ass. I only have half an hour tops until the star moves out of the position. I better wash my face and calm down. A year ago, I saw the face of an eldritch being in my dreams. It whispered its name to me. Lanetta, ever since I have been obsessed with trying to see it again. I'm not the kind of person to get addicted to stuff or spend recklessly, but I just can't help myself. There's something I have to do once I see it again. Huh? Was that the door? Thank goodness. I spent way too much money on getting this for me to miss my chance. The amount of money I have lost to scammers claiming to have the real deal is a little embarrassing. But as of today, as of today, I'll have a genuine Necronomicon, an ancient spellbook containing the dark rituals needed to contact the Elder Gods. Finally, I'll... Huh? What the hell is this? Why is it pink? Isn't this supposed to be like... Brown? And bigger? It's supposed to be an ancient book covered in flesh or something, but this looks like it just came from an office supply store. No, please don't tell me. Scammed again. With how much money I spent, this time though, I thought there would be no chance it'd be a fake. Great. No way I'm getting my money back either. Scammer's probably long gone too. Damn it. I need a new hobby. Seriously. What a strange scam, though. You'd think they'd at least try to go for an authentic look. Did they really, they think, nobody would notice that their Book of the Dead is Malibu Pink? Wait, is this symbol on the front embossed? Is this thing made of real leather? The pages look gilt and gold, too. And this weight. Why'd they make a knockoff out of such high-quality materials? Oh, my computer. That's probably just a delivery confirmation message. What the? My order was delayed. It won't be delivered until tomorrow. Then, the hell is this book supposed to be? Did it get delivered to me by accident or something? There's no shipping label on the box. Stranger still, this inscription at the bottom, it's... Rylian, the unholy language of the Eldritch Gods. Also, the pages reek of formaldehyde, embalming fluid. In other words, it stinks of death. Why would something so cute have such an insidious aura around it? Maybe I'll take a look inside. Hmm. Let's set the mood. Oh. We could just take the turtle. All right. Let's take the dagger, too. We might want to do some sacrificing later. Candyman. Number one. Now let's put that back. It looks good there. Um, I, I don't know what we got, but we got something. Got to wear our pendant and the mask. Um, let's go redraw. What if I... Ooh, okay. Well, they're like runes. Okay. Hmm. I like... Give us the eye. I want the eye. There we go. Gotta wear our ritual robe. Eh, let's take a look. What's over here? Enter here. Oh, it's the bathroom. All right. Take a look. Perfect. We look beautiful. Wait, could we, uh, yeah, let's wash our face. Perfect. 
Can we, uh... Can I to get in it? Let's go. Let's, uh, let's see. So we can exit. All right, let's take a look at the book. Ensure all possible light has been snuffed from the room. In your room, this means draw the curtains, turn off your bedside lamp, turn off your overhead lights. In the dark light, in the dark, light red fire candles. They are for your protection. The dark is dangerous. Find and put on your ritual necklace. When all is complete, chant. Click and drag from the first letter to the end of the phrase to chant slowly. Okay, yeah, we we could we can do that. Okay. So let's uh let's turn that off. You know, it didn't say to put the mask on, so let's uh get the light off. The that's drawn. Okay, we got a ritual cloak on. Okay, what else? Okay, check, check, and check. Uh, in the dark, light red fire candles. We just need the ritual necklace. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and put the cloak back too. There we go. Where's the red fire candles? Oh, pfft, duh, they're right here. There we go. Okay, we are ready. Ha, ah, mortal. Oh God, it actually worked. She's here. A beacon of madness is towering over me with an omnipotent and chaotic avatar of world-ending calamity. Even with a year of preparation for this moment, I'm frozen in fear. For what purpose have you awoken Lanetta the Starspawn and brought about the end of reality? Well, you know, I just, uh, I just wanted to go out on a nice little date. Maybe get a kiss? I can't talk. I can't even breathe. Blinding dread. Choking Terry. Terry. Choking terror. My very sanity is teetering on the precipice and looking down. No. I finally got this far. I finally have my chance. I can't perish now. The d Dark One, I ask that you grant my wish. You wish to be the first human to be destroyed, yes? So that you are spared from the cataclysm I shall wreak upon all life? No. I want to smooch ya. I want to smooch. Don't say it again, creep. Then how are you looking directly at me without being driven mad? I'm mad with lust. Send me back. No. Huh? But you just got here. What about destroying reality as I know it? I'll do it next time. Maybe when the stars realign in a thousand years or so. But I'll be long dead by then. Exactly. Hey. I went through all the trouble of buying this damn book. The least you can do Where'd is... You book? Huh? What? This? I found it outside my door. That Moo. Always trying to set me up with someone. Moo? Who's that? Are they the one who left this funny-looking Necronomicon on my doorstep? It's not a Necronomicon. It's not? What Necronomicon is bright pink, silly? God, she's cute. But what's with the sudden personality change? Does she recognize the book? Uh, well, if it's not a Necronomicon, what is it? It's a survival guide. For what? For dating me. W really? This thing? Mm-hmm. It's full of rituals that I like. Offerings, spells, and how to protect your sanity while performing them. I struck gold. All the money I spent finally paid off. Wait, what'd she just say? Protect my sanity? I am a cosmic entity beyond comprehension. So no amount of contact with me is safe for a human. Your mind could snap like a reed at any moment, actually. Mm. Oh, don't make that face. I can make it worth your while, if you understand what I'm getting at. Oh, you let me smooch ya. If you can make it to the end, darling. But if you chicken out or go insane, I'll end reality right then and there. High stakes. I like it. 
W will you spare the world if I win that kiss? No. You knew what you were getting into when you woke me up, right, darling? Looks like my only two options are die or die without getting a kiss. Hmm. Well, they say if you've already eaten the poison, you might as well lick the plate. So, the world is going to end either way. Deal. Excellent. Let's begin the date then. Why don't you start with the invoke the deaths ritual? Okay. Let's see. That's the calling. Invoke the depths. Do not perform this ritual alone. Snuff out all the light from the room. Turn on your sink or shower to make the sound of moving water. When all is complete, chant. Do not look out your window from now on. Okay, so after we do that, we can no longer look out the window. So let's, uh. Okay, that's still closed. Let's snuff out all the lights. That's still off. Okay. Let's go into here. What happens if we turn on both? Double power. Oh. There she is. Okay, so we gotta uh, snuff out all the light from the room. Trying to stick in the shower to make a sound of water. Okay, and we'll chant that. Let's uh, let's give her a talk, though. What's with the worried look, darling? I shouldn't be doing these spells alone. The book says so. Alone. I'm here. Yeah. True. You know what? You know what I mean. These rituals look really bad for my long-term health. Long-term health? The world ends when this date does. What does it matter if your mind is unraveling? Nobody is in this world for the long haul anymore. These rituals look bad for my short-term health, too. Well, you better finish them quickly, then. All right. Let's, uh... Let's go. All right. Oh, no light. There. All the lights are off. What's on your mind, darling? But, uh, you're an eldritch whore. I mean, dark... Cosmic entity. Right, sorry. Have you met the, uh, others? The other cosmic entities? Of course. Really? I actually had a lot of questions about Kathatha that I couldn't really figure out in my research. Dang. Yes? This is us time. If you mention another woman one more time, this date is over, and I'll save you for last. Okie dokie. Let's get the spell on the way. Home sweet home. Oh, yeah. Are we... What did we just do? You brought the Outer Depths to us. Didn't you read the spell's name? Our connection is stronger now. Nah, I usually don't pay attention too much. The closer you get to where my true form lies dreaming, the stronger my influence on you in this world. Will I be okay? Just focus on following the book perfectly. You're good to start doing these rituals on your own, right? Good enough. No, no, no. Wait. Why? You're... Why are you leaving? I'm just feeling a little icky from the summoning, so I wanted to use your shower. Do you mind? Ah, no. Not at all. Go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. No peeking. Oh, whatever you say. Okay. Hey, Don't peek. I won't. Mm -hmm. I'll be good. I won't peek. You're sure you won't? Positive. All right. I'll be back in a jiffy. All right, well. We're not allowed to look out the window anymore. Book said so. Well, what's next? Ensure your sink or shower is right to make the sound of moving water. Then go outside. Avoid making eye contact with that which roams the fog. They'll know if you saw them. Turn off the lights before you leave. This one isn't a warning. It'll just help lower your electricity bill. <laughs> So we just can't look out the window, but we're allowed to leave. Yeah, let's go. Let's, uh, while we're waiting, let's uh, let's go do that. Okay. 
Uh, well, she's showering, so it should be running. Okay, let's uh, let's give this one a go. Jeez, it looks like quiet hill out here with all this fog. <gasps> Darling, Ooh. you didn't! I did? I love foggy, rainy days by the sea. It's like my favorite weather on the surface world. You know, I can, I can see that being your favorite weather. I didn't know you have a house on the water! I didn't five minutes ago. In fact... I'm hundreds of kilometers away from the coast. Even the wildest of hurricanes would never flood the area like this. What terrible power is this thing capable of? Uh, there's something just so romantic about standing on a balcony during a storm. I'd hate to cut the fun short, but can we go back inside now? What's wrong, darling? Getting chilly? It feels like something's watching me from out there. We can go inside if you like, but it's not like it's any safer in there. After all, the next page in the book has an unspeakable horror on it. Uh, unspeakable horror? Some kind of monster's gonna jump out at me? You'll see what I mean. Let's see what's in the next page of the book. It, it's just a chant. Okay, well, let's, uh... Let's see, does she have anything? Oh, this that changed. Uh, I can't talk to her, so I guess yeah, right, right in the chanting. I love chanting. Oh, oh. can't pronounce what the hell? I can't even begin to pronounce this. Yeah, duh. That's why it's an unspeakable horror. Unspeakable. Oh. Get it? As in cannot be spoken. At least not by humans. Hmm. Wait. Can you pronounce this? Of course I can. I can pronounce anything. Anything? Anything. Oh yeah? Then what's this? Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. sauce? Oh damn. Worcestershire sauce. Damn. You are the real deal. Hey, wait a minute. Those tentacles are like extra tongues, right? Then your weakness is tongue twisters. Say, toy boat ten times fast. Toy Toy boat, 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 toy boat. Show off. So we can't do this one. Perform the eldritch mouth. This ritual will allow you to utter unspeakable incantations. Perform this ritual someplace where gore can be cleansed easily, like a bathroom. Wear no robes or amulets. Have the ritual nice on your person. Okay. So, whoops. I'm gonna put that back with that back. So we got no robes or amulet. We have the ritual knife already. And we just need to go to the bathroom. Perfect. Let's uh, go ahead and turn that off. We don't need running water anymore, I don't think. So, let's give this a chant. Eldritch Mouth, huh? Maybe I should have considered this spell more carefully before casting it. If there's so much as a single scar, I might actually lose my job. Please don't let me have something freaky on my face. It's my livelihood on the line here. Okay, big breaths. Brace, your, brace yourself. Uh, I'm... I'm... I'm still cute as hell. But I thought I'd get an Eldritch Mouth or something. Everything seems pretty much the same. Weird. Hey, Lynetta? Yes? Ah, you startled me. me? You, you called me! Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, who the hell was that third voice? What are you talking about? That was you! Look! She takes hold of my hand. Whoa, hand holding on the first date. Moving fast, but that's okay. Oh, no, look at your hand, silly. My hand? Oh, fuck! Get it off! Quick! 
Help me cut it off. Hurry. Cut it off? But it's your hand now. See? Surely enough, but it's not a disembodied mouth stuck to my hand. It's very much embodied mouth indeed. <sighs> Is this really my hand? Oh, what what did I do to my hand? <laughs> Darling, are you all right? This this is screwed up. I mean, I, I knew I'd be in harm's way, but permanent body disfigurement this early on? But but I'm not stopping before I get that smooch. No matter what, I gotta think positive. This this isn't so bad. <laughs> I mean, there's gotta be a silver lining to this. <laughs> now I have my pick of which mouth to use when I smooch you. <laughs> Someone at the door? This is bad. Did I get busted? A sudden shock feels like a splash of cold water that snaps me back to my senses. Damn. Must have done something to give away, uh, give us away. Was I shouting too loudly with about that knife? Did the neighbors call the cops? If someone interrupts my rituals now, their stars will fall out of limit before I can finish. Damn it. Even if I pick the apartment on top of th on the top floor to minimize the number of people noticing odd sounds or smells from my room. If it's the police, they're going to insist on looking around. I'm not going to be able to smooth talk my way out of the demon in my room. Either way, I need to prepare myself now. Who knows how quickly things are going to go south after I answer the door. Hello? Are you in? <laughs> I heard you shouting just now. Come on, let me in. Crap. It's even worse than the police. There's only one person it could be. And at the worst possible time, what do I do? Is it even safe to go outside right now? With all the world bending spells I've been casting? That, darling? Uh, probably the mailman. I'll make him leave. Give me a sec. You don't look so good. Maybe I should get the door? No. I mean, no. I really don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Well, you're a mind flaying goddess. Maybe it'll be too much for someone who wasn't expecting it. Mm, I guess that's a good point. Wait here. I'll be right back. <laughs> Missy, hey, good to How see you. you. I hope it wasn't too forward of me to call upon you in your own private department. Missy, she's an old money rich girl that suddenly showed up to the club I work and started showering me with gifts. She doesn't quite understand that she's not supposed to contact me outside of working hours, but it's hard to complain when she basically pays my rent. In fact, she's pretty much the only reason I could afford to buy all this Eldritch paraphernalia. But, best of all, she's smoking hot. If I may be so bold, I... Well, I have something special to give you. May I come in? Oh, God, yes. Oh, hell yes. Uh, right this way, M Wait, Lena is inside. I got so caught up in the moment I almost forgot. Uh, actually, now's not a good time. Think you could just give it to me out here? Oh, it's not the kind of present I can give you out in the open. A present that has to be given in private? Oh man, what could it be? <laughs> oh. Wait, I almost lost sight of things again. If Lynetta and Missy meet, I'm toast. Can I really not help myself with my life on the line here? Say something, idiot. Uh, well, I can't get away right now. How about we meet up after work? I can't go out after dark. Right. I forgot her weird curfew. Why can't we just go inside? I really want to give you your present now. Darling, what's taking so long? I miss you. Is Lynetta coming to the door? I can hear her footsteps. Huh? What was that? You have company over? That's just the mailman. Inside your apartment? Shoot! I got my lame excuses mixed up. Hey! What do you think you're doing? No one slammed the door in my face! No one! Oh man, she's pissed. Sorry, Missy. This is the only way I can survive What's this. Going on, uh, turns out it was one of those uh, door to door salesmen. They can be really pushy, you know? <laughs> Let me in now! <laughs> I don't want any! You huh? want me to make them go away? Uh, no, no, I got, I got this. You just have to be persistent. Eventually they give up. 
Did she finally give up? I better smooth things over with her later before she tries anything crazy. Especially now that she knows where I live. Better hurry through these rituals before there's no more interruptions. All right. Oh, we did that one. Let's, uh, we have the Eldritch Mouse now, so let's, uh, perform Metamorphosis. <laughs> Hell yeah, one of three, baby. All right. Let's see what's next. All right. Perform metamorphosis. Do not attempt this ritual without performing the calling. Invoke the depths. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure we've done both of those. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, if you see or hear something strange, it is not your imagination. Be ready. Proceed in total darkness. No lights, no candles. Ensure his image appears in no way in poster or tapestry. Hmm. Continue to the next page. Wear a ceremonial robe and ritual necklace. Wear a mask or a headpiece to distort your features. Have a ceremonial knife on your person. Always remember the second step of the previous page. When all is complete, chant... What was step two? This is the point of no return. I don't remember that being there before. Okay. So we need the robe and the necklace and the mask. Okay. Let's get those first. Okay. Done. It looks like we're in total darkness already. We had the ceremonial knife already. Uh, yep, total darkness. Sure, his image appears in no way in poster and tapestry. Um, let's go ahead and remove that just in case. Um, okay. I think that we're good. Okay. Let us proceed with the ritual. Hop, 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 hop. Ooh, we got a tentacle hand. All right. Oh. And I thought you were cute for a human before. Hello. Now you're totally my type. I'm trying to respond, but no sound is coming from my mouth. Even when I try to shout as loud as I can, I can't even manage a whisper. Something is not right. What happened to me? I think you're a tentacle boy. Let's, uh, let's go take a look. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and wash our face. Um. Perform, prepare offering. This ritual will sever your- oh. what are you looking at? Read the book. Nothing, huh? You were looking at nothing? Is that the truth? Hmm. <laughs> Did I scare you, darling? Oh, well, yeah. man. Good. I know what page you were on. And if I see you trying to cast that spell about nothing, you won't get past the second word. Oh. I see. Prepare offering. Illuminate the room to your comfort. Collect necessary ingredients from cold storage. Ensure the symbol is present and nearby. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to, uh... Almost break up. Okay, we got... Uh, that must be this item from cold storage. Okay. Let's go ahead and put Turt back. Ah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep him in here just in case. And we needed... Yeah, that one. Okay. That's perfect. Okay. Illuminate the room to our comfort. Let's, uh... We can't open the window anymore, but let's, uh, let's... 
doesn't say anything about candles, so we're just going to leave those off. Um, we've got the necessary ingredients from cold storage, so let's uh, let's give it a go. Read it. That already smells delicious, darling. Ooh. All it needs is a little something, and it'll be perfect. Oh, yeah. Mm. I'm going to take a short walk outside while you finish. See you in a few, love. All right. Perform Reach into Oblivion. Okay. Wear the ceremonial robe and have a ritual knife in your possession. Ensure the symbol is present nearby. Have another life form on your person. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we got the turd. Got the turd already. Okay. So we need the ceremonial robe. Okay. We need the eye. Correct? Yes. Oops. We got the turd. Okay. Okay. Doki. Hand looks a little fucked up. No. Okay. Uh, wait. Oh no. Did I kill the turtle? Her name. 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 Her. Ah. Uh. My hand is huge. Uh, objective. Survive. You can read this. All reality is doom. Once you start the ritual, complete all these three pages quickly. You will be vulnerable until you finish. Do not open any blinds, windows, or doors. Do not turn on any lights. Snuff out all existing light or you will attract their attention. And ensure that symbol is nearby. Okay. Um. Off. Uh, it's that one, right? Okay. All right. Uh, it doesn't say anything about this, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this back. Okay. Let's go. <clears throat> Read, chant, chant, chant. Just keep going. She is coming. Ensure the symbol is present nearby. Okay. Uh, which one is it? It's that one. Okay. Do not cover your eyes, you will need them. If she gets in your room, it's too late. Ensure this symbol is present nearby. Repeat this chant until you believe you are safe. Okay. That one? No. That one. Okay. Come on, read, baby. I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat a couple times because it still sounds like it's, uh, shit's going down out there. Bad end. Was I too slow? Let's go. Escape reality figure. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, I, a 
uh, make sure all the lights are off. We need that symbol. Okay. It's that one. Nope, it is not that one. Ah, I passed it up again. Okay, there we go. Shut that off. Okay, everything is off. And uh, let's uh, put the robe back. And let's go. Okay. Yes. Ah, oh, no. Okay. And then we need that one. Close call. I can tell by the look on your face. You caught a glimpse of the real world now that I'm waking up. Guess you aren't as sane as you thought, huh, darling? Oh, sweetie, don't worry about reality. It doesn't have anything to do with you anymore. Though, I should tell you, everything you saw and heard, it's still there. That's comforting. What you saw coming through your window is still coming through. Very soon, it'll be impossible to deny its presence. And even escaping reality won't protect you. If you like, I could move you to the front of the line and end you painlessly myself. As thanks for waking me up. That sounds you nice. Hear their screams anymore. Or feel that chill up your spine where that tentacle is already touching. <laughs> maybe you'd prefer to be saved for last. Have the whole doomed world all for yourself for a while. Though the things you'd see if you lingered. Being destroyed first or last? Which would you prefer? My darling. Hmm. I don't know. Part of me thinks it'd be cool to go last because then you get to see all the crazy shit that goes down. But the suffering and probably pain that comes with it would be probably a lot let's let's uh let's oh we're not gonna do that one just seeing if any of these okay it did flip through so i wanted to see if there was any new blue pages nothing is just your imagination do not attempt this ritual without performing the prepare offering and reach into oblivion which we've already done uh, let the room be well lit. Wear no robes or necklaces. Have the offering on your person. Oh, that must be the offering. So, uh, yep, no, blah, blah, blah. have the offering on my person. Okay, let's go. Oh, yes, chant it. Delicious! Just perfect! I wish you could make offerings like this forever! Yeah, well, me too. Well devoted, darling. There is only one last spell to perform. Oh, yeah? Pledging yourself to me! Easy. Take heart. Your pledge of devotion will be the last act of humanity for all of time. <laughs> the final words ever spoken by humankind will come from your very mouth. An echo into oblivion. That sounds nice. The privilege is yours alone. I may be inexperienced with human emotions, but even I know that saying goodbye to your world can be painful. Take all the time you need to make peace with the end. I'm going to take a short nap before I wake up for good. Could you hit the lights for me, darling? Anything for you. 
Uh, off. Thank off. you, my love. You're welcome. Ah, I, did, I thought it was closed. Did you hit the lights for me, darling? Anything for you. Off. Thank off. you, my love. Of course. Okay, let's see. What else is in the book? Perform one last ritual. The final pledge. Have a ritual knife on your person. Chant five times to fill the heart. Okay, let's go get that ritual knife. Which we already have on our person. Let's put little Turk back. Okay. Let's go. One. A two. A three. Four. One last time, baby. Bring it home. It's done. The last ritual. You did wonderfully. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm afraid it's time for the dream and our date to end. No. That look on your face. Darling, I had a wonderful date with you. And that's because of you. So Aww. why destroy me in all of reality? Why not just stay here with me? That's what you're thinking, right? Yeah. Oh, my sweet mortal darling. I'm not doing this out of malice. You've had good dreams before, right? Mostly. Well, when you woke up, you destroyed those dream worlds and everything in them. Did you wake up because you hated those dreams? No. It just couldn't be helped that you'd wake up eventually. Mm hmm Good point. I love humans. And I'll miss you sorely. Please let your last thoughts be about that. Don't I will try. I forgot about my promise to you. You're up, my darling. Yes. He I've earned it. We did it. The Awake End. All right. Thanks for playing. You are welcome. First date. All right, we're going to go back in and we're going to go see where some of the other paths will take us. Um, specifically, we had a branching path off here that is unknown. And we also have this complete other ending here, which I would like to find out what it is. So let's go back to Invoke the Depths and uh, we'll see what branching path we can take home from here. Home. So what we're going to do here... Is we're going to peek. We're going to be a creep, but we're going to peek. Worth it. Yeah. Okay, we cleared that one off. All right, let's uh, and let's go to here. I want to go see what the uh, other Darling, one is. All right, and let's go ahead and give us a chant. We'll start this off, and then we're when she's asleep, we're gonna go through the breakup chant. There's that you, and that. Love. You're welcome. Okay, let's see what happens if we break up. Oh, uh, this ritual will sever your connection, restore sanity, or turn you to reality, whatever state it is in. Let the room be well lit. Well, that's going to be a problem. <clears throat> okay, the room is well lit. Let's 
It's this one. Okay. <clears throat> There's one. And two. And a three. Did it work? My face and hands are back to normal. Did I really do it? Oh, she's so cute. Why did you break our connection? I'm cut off from the rest of me. How could you? Why did you? Why did you break my heart? I don't know. I wanted to see what the other end was. I did what I had to do. Sorry, darling. World's not ending today. I think we should see other but people. Why? Was I not good enough? Did you have a bad time on our date? Is there... No, none, none of that. It was pretty much just that you were going to end all reality. And? Nope, that's it. That's the deal breaker. What? But you woke me up in the first place. Come on, we both know I got more than I bargained for. <laughs> oh, darling. You realize I still have control here, right? If you want to smooch my real form, you have no choice but to do the spells over. Uh, a squid is fine, too. Wait, what? <laughs> Ooh. The good end. Yes. Everybody wins. The good enough end. The world is saved and we get a squid. Cool. So we cleared off all of the endings from this one. All right. Perfect. Um, then we get to start chapter two. Well, I think that's going to do it for this one. We will start chapter two in the next episode. So if you have any comments, concerns, leave them down in the comment section below. Feel free to hit that like button and subscribe if you like what you're seeing here. And we will see you in the next one. Thank you so much. See ya. <laughs>